Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to revisit uh, a video that I did a few months ago and it had to do with powering this uh, 7 cubic foot deep freezer with a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Now, sorry about that, my dogs were thinking about joining me. In the video I made previously with this uh, seven cubic foot freezer, um, I'll go ahead and put a link, I think it'll be right up there, uh, of the original one. Uh, it was when it was brand new. I had never turned it on. Uh, it had nothing in it. And this time what I want to do is I want to uh, replicate what would happen is if the power went off right now and this deep freezer, which is Oh, you know, about a third of the way full and frozen, how long it will last on a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Let me go ahead and show you my setup. Okay, what I have is I have the exact setup that I had in the previous video. I have the Uniwix 100 amp hour, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, I am using this shunt right here that will calculate uh, how many amp hours have been used and it will tell the running time of this test. And that is what I really care about. And then also I'm using a 150 amp fuse and I'm using the Alpha 1500 watt power inverter. Now if anyone watching this has watched any of my other videos about this inverter, they do know that I had a problem with it. Well, uh, the good people at Alpha uh, watched the video also, and they said, well, that inverter is under a five-year warranty, so we will send you an another one out absolutely free. And so this is the brand new inverter, which works perfectly. And then here is the freezer that we're going to be powering. It's a seven cubic foot uh, hot point deep freezer. Let me go ahead and show you the inside. As you can see, I have about 25 pounds of hamburger, some steaks, some roasts, uh, some Jack's pizza, some corn dogs. Now, in the last test, the deep freezer was able to run for 31 and a half hours. And I'm really hoping that I can get a few more hours out of it uh, with this test. I believe that this test is going to be more of a real life scenario. Uh, where you have your deep freezer plugged in and the power turns off and you need to kind of figure out something to do and you happen to have, um, you know, you happen to have a, a backup battery and a 1500 watt inverter. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to reset this, this shunt. We're going to go ahead and turn the inverter on and uh, let's go ahead and start the experiment. Okay, with this shunt, I do realize that it already says... Um, that we've used three milliamp hours. So we're gonna go ahead and reset that to back to zero. Just hold it down and it sets it to zero again. So it shows running time zero, capacity zero, energy zero, and our voltage of our battery is 13.7. So this is a 100% full battery. So let's go ahead and turn on the inverter. Okay, and our inverter shows our voltage is 114. The battery is at 13.7, just like our shunt says. Okay, freezer is unplugged. You can see the lights off. Let's go ahead and plug it. Let's go ahead and plug it into our inverter. There we go. And it looks like the voltage of the battery is already, oh, it's back up. That was just the initial startup of the, uh, of the freezer, but you can see it's back on. Let's go ahead and look at our shunt to make sure it's working right. All right, it shows that we've already used 130 milliamp hours and that there is a running time of 
one minute. Okay, so this test has begun. Um, the time right now is 8.30 p.m. on Friday. So I'm guessing that uh, this test won't end until Sunday morning. And like I said, the first test I got about 31 and a half hours. Um, and, you know, so that would put it like around, what, three o'clock in the morning on Sunday. I really hope that doesn't happen. I really hope that I'm able to get at least two to three more hours out of this freezer already being frozen and being at least a third way full. So I will come back tomorrow morning and I'll give you an update. Good morning, everyone. It's uh, been about 12, almost 12 and a half hours since we started this test. So let's see where our battery's at. All right, our monitor shows that we've used up 31.8 amp hours and the running time is 12 hours and 26 minutes. So judging just by those numbers alone, uh, it looks like we're not even a third of the way done. Now, if you multiply 12 hours by three, you know, we're looking at 36 hours. So it could be possible that we could get an additional five hours of runtime from this freezer just because it's a third of the way full and that it was already cold when we started the test. So I'll come back tonight um, and we'll see what it looks like after about 24 hours. All right, everyone. Well, it's uh, a little bit past the point where I thought I was gonna come down here. Um, it's uh, like 10 after midnight. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the battery and see what we're, what we're looking at. And as you can see, we have used 73.1 amp hours uh, and it's been 28 hours and 10 minutes. Um, I mean, so we still have a quarter, over a quarter of this battery left. You know, we're still, we're still looking at, I would say another seven hours. So I'll probably come back down about seven o'clock this morning to find out uh, exactly where we're at and, and hopefully get some uh, final results. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, it is now 7.20 in the morning. And honestly, I thought I was gonna be coming down into the basement and either finding that the uh, freezer had turned off or uh, this thing would be very close to uh, shutting down. Uh, I, I was expecting maybe some beeping, something to alert me that our test was almost over. And then I looked at the monitor. We still have over 10 amp hours left in this battery. Uh, and we've been running it for 34 hours and 27 minutes. I do realize that the freezer right now is not running, it's just on its hold cycle uh, because it's keeping temperature. I truly believe though the reason that we're getting such a longer lifespan of this off-grid system uh, in order to run this freezer is because there is product in there. Like I said before, the freezer is like a third of the way full and, uh, and that is, is making it so it, it can hold temperature. We're looking at another two to three hours before this inverter starts to shut down due to the battery being uh, too low. So um, I'll come back either when I start to hear the inverter beeping or um, maybe around 10 o'clock. All right, everyone. Well, it is now uh, 10, <clears throat> a little bit after 10.50. And uh, I came down here because I didn't hear any beeping, but I was like, oh, it's after 10 or 10.30, so let's go ahead and check it out. And uh, it's turned off. So let's go ahead and wake this battery back up and find out what our final numbers are. All right, and how we're gonna wake up this battery is we're gonna use, we're gonna use this uh, Hasido 20 amp charger. We got it set on the, the LiPo 4 setting. So all we'll have to do is start it up, touch the terminals and it should wake it back up. First thing we want to do though is turn off the inverter. So let's do that. Okay, that's off. And now let's go ahead and touch the terminals. Red to red, black to black. There we go. Woke back up. Let's see what our numbers are. All right, the final result 
is that we got 97.4 amp hours out of this battery and it ran for 36 hours and 55 minutes. And that is a total uh, energy count of 1.26 kilowatt hours. That's almost five and a half hours longer than the first test I did where the, uh, the freezer was brand new, it didn't have anything in it, and it wasn't cooled down to start the test. But this time, it's a third of the way full, and it was already frozen when I started this scenario of the power going out and I had to switch it to a 100 amp hour battery. Another thing I do notice about this uh, Unix battery is that the monitor is showing that it's at 12 volts still. So I bet I could probably turn this battery, I could probably turn the inverter back on and maybe squeeze out, I don't know, maybe another half hour, uh, something like that. So if anyone has any questions about how I did this test, please leave them in the comments. You know, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned something from it. Uh, it's amazing that you can get, you know, over 36 hours of extra freezer time if your power goes out and all you have is a 100 amp hour battery and, uh, you know, and an inverter. So uh, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below and have a great day. Bye-bye.